Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today I want to show you a video of an activity that you can do once your students get really good at the functions of the B-Bot. So let's go to it. Okay, so what I did was I took some just regular butcher paper. And if you're wondering, the B-Bot square is 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters. So I basically cut myself out a template and I basically made my own chart paper. I know BeBot, you know, has or supplies chart paper, but my students were just starting out. So I wanted to make it a lot simpler than what they offer. I cut out the, you know, the sections that I wanted and then I laminated it. And then what I did was set up a very cool Mario, Peach, and Bowser activity. What I wanted to do was just kind of piggyback on what they love and kind of just make it more interesting and then just, you know, there's so many different ways to connect with students when they're doing coding, but I wanted to just make this more, how should I say it? I don't want to say real life because, you know, Mario is not real life but their love of Mario is in real life. So what I did was I printed out Mario, Peach, and Bowser. And what I did was I said, well, your B bot is gonna start on Mario and your job is to get your B to get to Peach. Basically in their mind, connecting Mario to Peach, getting him to get to her. But I said, your B bot may not go to Bowser, which means you can't run over Bowser. If we put him in a square or multiple squares, you can't do that. And so they had to figure out, okay, what is my path gonna be? And then also, how do I code that to get the B, to get from Mario to Peach without hitting a Bowser? It's just really neat to see the student's eyes light up like, oh, that's really neat. So I would first start off with, you know, just getting them from a start to a finish point. But once they you know, have mastered that, try checking out this Mario, Peach, and Bowser activity. It was really fun and my students really liked it. 